Hi everybody, this is Henry Li from BlueHeronArts.com. Um, now we are going to introduce you to a new type of a brush. You might call it a flat brush, but it's uh, known as a hick brush. Um, I've been using this kind of brush since uh, I was uh, in Nanjing, uh, China. I learned from a master Li Jian Chen in my hometown. Uh, he used this kind of brush and another uh, secret uh, brush I will show you later in this class. The flat brush comes in different sizes from 1 inch, uh, 2 inch, 3 inch, up to 5 inches. Um, you can use for background washes uh, I used this one for bamboo, the large bamboo uh, uh, stand on the floor you have seen last time. And this can also uh, good for bamboo stems. And these are more versatile, the small ones. You can use for orchid, uh, daily leaf blades, and uh, iris. Um, speaking of iris, is one of my favorite uh, subject matter. Uh, I'm going to demo this brush. I soak the brush and uh, we can do the leaves first. Most people do the flowers first. I just like to do the leaves. So I got some uh, yellow left over and uh, some uh, mineral green. And then I touch a little dark green and a uh, little bit ink. The uh, iris leaves, we separate the two sides. The, um, underside is lighter, so I'm going to light it, make it gray. I usually don't blend too even. You know, you can touch here and there is some green on the corner of the brush. You can do from upside down or um, down, you know, from bottom up. I just alternate. Reload a little bit. Okay, and then I wash the brush. Suppose I only have one brush, I have to wash the brush. If you have more brush, you can use different color on different brush to save uh, some trouble. I load uh, different uh, blues from light to dark. And I, I'm going to do a, there are so many different colors and shapes of uh, iris, more than 1,000 in the iris family. Uh, in the painting, we don't compete with the photographers. We try to do the essence. So I'm going to And the uh, lower skirt, you might call it. And uh, the young.
and I mix a little green and a vermilion. The calyx. And uh, now I'm going to do some dark leaves in the, the upper side, or inner side, if you will. And uh, now I'm going to show you the second specialty brush. Actually, it's a, a cut brush. So you can um, cut the old brush like this to form a very versatile liner like this. After uh, the wet, you can see So I load this brush with dark uh, blue, purple, if you will. Get some detail on the pedal. And then you can use uh, some. Uh, here's another one I have cut it. I'm going to use some white, yellow. some dots, like uh, the beard iris. And also, you can draw the veins, but you need to wet uh, to the right uh, moment while the leaf color is still damp but not uh, uh, too wet. Okay. And 
know, we can draw a little butterfly, if we will. The iris in Chinese painting is known as the blue butterfly. So maybe I should do there. So this brush can give you very bold strokes and uh, very fine lines at the same time. And when you don't need to change brush to get all the effect. Just change the size sometimes. this one. Okay, I'm going to use uh, some uh, color. You use uh, opaque green, mineral green, on top of uh, the, the, the uh, ink. This method, we call it uh, uh, embedding. Like you embed a diamond or a jewel stone. Um, let's make uh, this one green. See, that's uh, how it looks like. And you can use uh, other um, mineral colors like uh, vermilion. Also, it's covering color. And the mineral blue. Then we use some uh, yellow, orange, gray kind of. Just some leftover color will be fine. To do the body, uh, could be a little green in it.
just very suggestively. And you can add some uh, yellow and white, very light yellow and white on the back. So this uh, color won't cover the lines. Okay, that's about it. Find the spot to sign. Now let's take a final look. Uh, it seems I need a butt there. So I'm going to add with the rest, uh, cut the left over color on this uh, heck brush. Okay, that's uh, the finished touch. Now I'm going to put uh, the stamp. On. It says. Uh, half hundred. Uh, I kept it uh, in one of the YouTube uh, video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.